In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold, the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Please kneel for the prayer before Mass. Almighty and ever-living God, I approach the sacrament of your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. I come seek to the doctor of life, unclean to the fountain of mercy, blind to the regions of eternal light, and poor and needy to the Lord of heaven and earth. Lord, in your great generosity, heal my sickness, wash away my defilement, enlighten my blindness, enrich my poverty, and clothe my nakedness. May I receive the bread of angels, the King of kings, and the Lord of lords, with humble reverence, with the purity and faith, the repentance and love, and determined purpose that will help to bring me to salvation. May I receive the sacrament of the Lord's body and blood in its reality and power. Kind God, may I receive the body of your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, born from the womb of the Virgin Mary, and so be received into his mystical body and numbered among his members. Loving Father, as on mercy pilgrimage, I now receive your beloved Son under the veil of his sacrament. May I one day see him face to face in glory, who lives and reigns with you forever. Amen. Please all stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we gather today with grateful hearts to offer our deepest thanks to the Lord for safeguarding us from the wrath of the Typhoon Christine. As we come together in prayer, let us also remember and lift up in our hearts all those who have been affected by the devastation of the Typhoon Christine. May our faith and unity bring comfort and hope to those in need during this difficult time. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. 
Almighty, ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to live in a manner worthy of the call you have received. With all humanity and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another through love, striving to preserve the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. One body and one spirit, are you are also called to the one hope of your call. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and to all and in all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Lord, this is your people that longs to see your face. The Lord's are the earth and its fullness, the word and those who dwell in it. For they founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Lord, this is your people that longs to see your face. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord? Or who may stand in his holy place? He whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. Lord, this is your people that longs to see your face. He shall receive the blessing of the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is a phrase that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. Lord, this is your people that longs to see your face. Let's all stand. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We call in hope on the beginning of our Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, When you see a cloud rising in the west, you say immediately that it is going to rain. And so it does. And when you notice that the wind is blowing from the south, you say that it's going to be hot. And so it is. You hypocrites, you know how to interpret the appearance of the earth and the sky. Why do you not know how to interpret that present time? Why do you not judge for yourselves what is right? If you are to go with your opponent before magistrate, Make an effort to settle the matter on the way. Otherwise, your opponent will turn you over to the judge, and the judge hand you over to the constable, and the constable throw you into prison. I say to you, you will not be released until you have paid the last penny. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear friends in Christ. Ang laki ng pasasalamat natin sa pag-asa. Our weather station forecasts and monitors weather conditions in our country using the modern technology because it provides us with somewhat accurate information about typhoons, rainfall, dry weather, and other phenomena. And similarly, the Jews were weather-wise. By observing the winds and the clouds, they would 
or they could predict when it would rain or when hot weather was approaching. And anticipating, anticipating the weather conditions allowed them to either store their hay and corn or distribute it and prepare for a journey. So di ba minsan, ito yung ginagawa din natin. Lalong-lalo na yung mga lolo at lola natin kapag uh, nakikita nila yung yung condition ng weather natin, tinitingnan lang nila yung sky, kung anong mangyayari, anong weather ang darating without this uh, pag-asa. And in the Gospel of Luke, Jesus speaks to the crowd about interpreting the signs of the times. He argues them to pay attention to the signs they see in nature and understand the significance of the events unfolding around them. And Jesus emphasizes the importance of discerning the times they live in as it provides insight into God's plan for humanity. At maaari tayong gumuhit ng pagkakatulad sa pagitan ng mensahe sa Ebanghelyo ngayon at ng ating buhay sa ngayon. Kung paanong hinimok ni Jesus ang kanyang mga tagasunod na magkaroon ng kamalayan sa mga science of the science of the times at tinatawag din tayong maging mapagmasid, observant at discerning. Ngayon sa ating modernong mundo, maraming mga palatandaan na maaaring gabayan tayo sa pag-unawa sa kalooban ng Diyos para sa atin and around and world around us. One way we can apply the message of this passage to our lives is by being attentive to the current events and social issues that impact our families and communities. By staying informed and engaged, we can better discern how God is calling us to respond to the needs of our world, whether it is through advocacy, service, or prayer, we can actively participate in bringing about God's kingdom on earth. Furthermore, ang pagbibigay kahulugan sa mga signs of the times requires us na magkaroon ng malalim na pundasyon sa ating pananampalataya sa pamamagitan ng pagcultivate ng isang malakas na buhay panalangin pag-aaral ng mga banal na kasulatan o the sacred scripture at paghanap ng patnubay mula sa banal na espiritu, maaari tayong magkaroon ng wisdom or karunungan at pag-unawa na kailangan upang makilala ang presensya at patnubay ng Diyos sa ating buhay. And finally, my dear friends, the message of the gospel today challenges us to be proactive in seeking God's will and responding to the signs of the times with faith and courage. As we navigate the complexities of our world, may we be guided by the teachings of Jesus and remain steadfast in our commitment to building a more just and compassionate society. Amen. Let's all stand. In Jesus' time, people would predict the weather by the direction of the wind. Jesus invited them to read the present time to know where God was leading them. May we in turn be as sensitive to the signs of the times. In every petition we pray, Lord, help us to read the signs of our time. Lord, help us to read the signs of our time. May the spread of the virus, the big fires, and other natural disasters remind us that nature is forcing us to clean up the mess that we ourselves have made and to stop abusing the environment. We pray. Lord, help us to read the signs of our time. May our sense of helplessness 
before a pandemic make us realize the vulnerability of our being human and that we are all in the same boat, rich and poor alike. We pray. Lord, help us to read the signs of our times. May we realize that our best protection is God, that our best refuge is our home, and our best company is our family. We pray. Lord, help us to read the signs of our time. May we realize that our heroes and saviors are not the gods of money, fame, and politics, but ordinary people who serve and even offer their lives at a time of great need. We pray. Lord, help us to read the signs of our time. May we realize that time can be short and have to be ready to make an account of our lives to the Lord. We pray. Lord, help us to read the signs of our time. Lord, our God, we are part of a whole, fragile, vulnerable, and yet beautiful world. Help us to go back to the basics, to the essentials, that the peace of our soul may guide us towards you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. and sisters that by sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us Lord we pray a sincere respect for your gifts that through the purifying action of your grace we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Lift him up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving itself your gift, since our praises and Praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we acclaim. Who comes in the name of the Lord? 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Ricardo, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please all stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope 
and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to our apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but will say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please kneel for the prayer for the seed. 
Loving Father, we pray for the healing touch of your Spirit to our brothers and sisters who are now suffering from illness or disease. In love and in prayer, we reach out to them so that we may bring your loving care, goodness, and kindness by being present in their time of need. May they be strengthened and consoled by the compassion of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior, who has shown us the redemptive value of suffering so that we may be able to offer and unite their suffering to that of Jesus our Lord through the intercession of the Blessed Mother, our Lady of Pia. Amen. Prayer to the Most Sacred Heart of Jesus Divine Jesus, you have said, Ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find, knock and it shall be opened to you. Behold me kneeling at your feet, filled with a lively faith, and confidence in the promises dictated by your sacred heart, I come to ask this favor. To whom can I turn if not to you, whose heart is the source of all graces and merits? Where should I seek if not in the treasure which contains all the riches of your kindness and mercy? Where should I knock if not at the door through which God gives himself to us and through which we go to God? I have recourse to you, heart of Jesus. In you I find consolation when afflicted, protection when persecuted, strength when bur burdened with trials, and light in doubt and darkness. Dear Jesus, I firmly believe that you can grant me the grace I implore even though it should require a miracle, you have only to will it and my prayer will be granted. I admit that I am most unworthy of your favors, but it is not a reason for me to be discouraged. You are the God of mercy and you will not refuse a contrite heart. Cast upon me a look of mercy. I beg of you and your kind heart will find in my miseries and weakness a reason for granting my prayer. Sacred Heart, whatever may be your decision with regard to my request, I will never stop adoring, loving, praising, and serving you. My Jesus, be pleased to which I see, to accept this my act of perfect resignation to the decrease of your adorable heart, which I sincerely desire may be fulfilled in and by me and your all your creatures forever. Grant me the grace for which I humbly implore you through the Immaculate Heart of your most sorrowful mother. You entrusted me to her as her child, and her prayers are always powerful with you. Amen. Most Sacred Heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Good morning and God bless you all. Good morning, Father. The sacred heart of love divine to keep us near today. Make our love so light to time that we may wholly be. Heart of Jesus, hear, O oh heart of love divine, listen to our prayer, make us always. Please kneel for the prayer before a crucifix. Look down upon me, good and gentle Jesus, while the fire face I humbly kneel, and with burning soul pray and beseech you to fix deep in my heart life the sentiments of faith, hope, and charity, through contrition for my sins, and a firm purpose of amendment, while I contemplate with great love and tender pity your five most precious wounds wandering over time within me, and calling to mind the words that David 
Your prophet said of you, my Jesus, they have pierced my hands and feet. They have numbered all my bones. Prayer to Our Lady of Piat. O Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Visitation of Piat, I have recourse to you today. I do offer this day in praise and thanksgiving for past benefits and in the hope of receiving new blessings which you know I need in life. Then, the dearest Mother, to shower upon us all the blessings which we need most for body and soul, particularly. And the special grace to die in God's love through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.